watch the interview. <laughs> Can I find that at youtube.com forward slash boxer CS? Sizzle Mac, he does have Tourette's syndrome. Or he has a tick, at least. I know Anyways. personally, I know. Here we go. He Pistol talking round about. for Cloud9. They're already over towards the B bomb site, but it's Henny to open up onto Stu. Bolts has to fall off of the coffins and that's a battery he repeats. He goes down. I guess not. So he's gonna have to double into this one with a second frag already. What the fuck did I just uh, My phone fell on the mute button. Included. Yeah, I'm still using stretch. Still playing over towards the banana. He's gonna be that late insurance policy, but Skadoodle gets executed from behind as There's Zach no takes two here. heads and leaves it on automatic. Timothy Taw tapping off the Glock tries to find some success, and while he only gets one kill, it's the pistol in the pockets of a Enjoy, I'll be right back. Really they knew where he was. They just all decided to push him at once. There was four people there. Very little chance for him to win that. I think every time he did peek, they did stutter step just out of uh, just out of their natural instincts, I think, but ultimately kept putting the pressure on making it very difficult. Should I stand so, back and make some golf swings over our chum? Cloud9 is a bomb plant, which is really nice. They actually end up crossing before the smoke balloons because they need to get, needed to get in the site. Maybe if they waited a Yeah, I got it on this peak right here. Oh, no, 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 But, um, off the back of that plant, That guy does not let anything get in the way of him doing his dream job. Exactly, Alex. To obviously, maybe get another plant. The, the Twitch is black. Help, what do you mean? On pistols, there's sometimes didn't play 3B on pistol, it'd be way more so if you guys want a little feedback right here, see this round how C9 is playing so? Since they got bombed down, they're probably going to buy a third, so their whole goal this round is to waste nades from the opponents. So sometimes you te see teams rush in and throw away their lives. Like right now, maybe they have a flash. So I wouldn't be surprised if C9 just threw one flash through the mid smoke here, but it looks like they're regrouping B. So Stewie's going to try to make a little noise. Maybe get one guy to move at B, and then they're going to blow up. So watch for Stewie to just make some noise in like five, or, five seconds or so right here. Pressure applied to the top of Banana by Cloud no. Nine, but they haven't really announced themselves. Instead, they're, they're just walking in. Creep in. Stu's on that hard there. Never mind. Above, though, that should catch him off. He actually falls to the side of Oranges as Rush then goes for the cross. Skadoodle drops Lucas, and now he takes his brother. Automatic finding the headshot, Oof. but then taking one himself. And Tim looking steady. Again. Still on that flank. Oh, he got spotted. Down, but someone's in between them. Did That's both not know? Actually creeping to the backside of library. He could catch steel, but steel's gonna Oh, they're going to win this round with that alert. Time. Maybe not though. Yeah, now it's just at the studio to decide whether or not he wants to push and the entire time steel is going to be worried about this flank that is uh, imminent really. Bolt's going to be moving in by himself. The Molly here to assist him. He's going to clear out emo, no problem. But they've got a defuse. Skadoodle is going to be playing that corner, just hoping he can buy off time. Bolt's tapping the bomb once, and now it's all on Ska. Two kills is all nice he'll shot. get. Where they win? Cloud Nine still find the round. Oh no, wow. kid! No, no kid to defuse. Big round. Bomb goes off as Cloud Nine win off of two great entries. <clears throat> I mean, that's the difficulty about playing back in the site. There, it's it's also dangerous though on an eco round to to play forward aggression on B. <clears throat> Maybe use your counter nades and then fall back can be one of the more ideal ways to play it or safest in general. But here, obviously, Lucas getting bullied at, at schools when he probably should have got two. Henny dying when he probably should have got two. It's just a matter of Cloud9 being... It's a little over peak from, uh... Completely abusing them. And, uh... And, and just getting, Lucas. getting in the site immediately, so... Not an easy site to retake. Even, even versus pistols. Early I use a Logitech. It's like a 1080p webcam. Seeing as they do have Lucas posted up on that deagle with Henny Yeah, the problem with that... So that... that rifles here you guys could say it's an over peak. That guy, Coffin... But a lot of times, after the first contact from the coffin guy, he doesn't repeak, right? Because he wants to crossfire with like the triple or second oranges guy. So a lot of times, um, people will come in with their heads all swinging sight, and that guy could repeak and get a second kill. At the same time, though, normally on an eco round like that, a deagler is posted up on that guy. So I'm not sure if I like that peak from uh, Lucas. Backseat, co backseat analyzing them. Eh. What's so quiet? Turn it down to speak. Can you guys hear me regardless? Me Morp, thank you for the sub, by the way. I gotta restart this sub alert. 
they're they're shuffling they're shuffling because Shuffering. they don't necessarily win the round even though they're five v four here they are low on weapons and still have to make a kind of gamble. Automatic's going to be left to try and pry into the bomb site. Almost gets the read on Henny's position, but it's Rush and Bolts taking kills a piece on A. Bolts is now left stranded inside the bomb site. In I don't know if I like this play from C9. This could have went way worse. Wrap round arch side. Luckily, Bolts Rush is playing smart. Off, oh. But he will the first. Rush is down. Man advantage in the hands of Immortals. But the bomb's now on site. Oh, Bolts Tyler. Gets the kill. Enough so this is that tough. Zach trades it. Now there is no time. No time. Automatic clearing up the bomb site. It's going to yeah. have to forfeit this. I like that they're teeter tottering, but the one problem with teeter totter right there. Is spacing. I don't know. It's hard there. Because, like, they didn't want to make too much noise rapping, but Rush was still a little too far ahead of Tyler. Rush probably needs to not hug the left wall right there and hug the close wall so that Tyler has more options to trade from. Owl TV donated three dollars and said, "I Jordan, I have the same story as you about sports because I'm small and I can't really play good at soccer anymore because I just get pushed off the ball and on CS it just comes down to how you play the game and that's why I love CS go so much." Well, good man. Stay passionate. Play soccer for fun. Don't don't let those bigger people knock you completely out of your passion, your hobby. Have fun playing some soccer still, but uh, if you feel like you can't go as far as you want with it, that's what I realized with hockey. I'm not answering that question, Mikey. <laughs> Come on in, dude. Damn, they're doing the gobby exact. Oh, the first guy. That was the gobby. The one thing that they didn't have as good right there is as the Germans. So Big runs that strat. And Big has the first guy clear under the balcony and then the next two swing side side as like the trade fraggers the problem with that smoke is uh you have to do that perfectly otherwise that will happen because they could have killed that first guy pit maybe not change around too much but could have created like a 3v2 with bomb or 2v3 with bomb plane you can have one person on b with with so much information at very little cost now we have the double volleys on banana to take control Soccer is not necessarily about height if you're messy. Substantial damage off of the frag. Stewie sits on 12. So Henny and Lucas are just going to hold their ground. They're going to pepper shots down range. And that clears up three near four. Poor Rush stuck on eight health. Just cowers to the corner. With a P250 in hand, both him and Tarek now losing his teammate. I'll get back in. I am planning on competing again if I find a roster I like. There's a couple of rosters that have reached out to me that I kind of like, but not completely. Not in teams of just people, but like how the team work and my requirements for playing on the team. So like, I don't know. This season, if you want to call it, I might not join a team. I might wait till like the end of the year. I don't know if that's a bad move, but it's about three months. Play rank S. All my skill will be fine. Ooh, aggressive play versus the gun round of Cloud9. They're gonna hear this coming, but Lucas still drops one. Damn, that happened to our old team so much. Quickly, but still, still here. So he sprays onto Rush and gets caught on the bench by Tarek, who pops his head up from the tunnel. Sucks because Tyler doesn't have an op. If they pee flash mid, their Tyler normally holds mid, so he'll get a kill and tell them really. To the back side of the apps. And we can see Immortals rotating one of their players from the B We communicate by first name. We never call each other by alias in a match. This is an opportunity to strike from behind as long as Bolts can hold the line. The thought process here is obviously Immortals didn't have hadn't spent a lot of money. Damn, Zach, gamer. With their UMP, so wants to go for the rush. Zach taking his time here. Won't actually get checked. Has opportunity for three kills. As Dewey is extremely low. And all oh. shoots in between. Kills the lowest guy. First kill, Tarek trades him out and gets no, Zach. No, Zach. Still. Tarek's gonna take that he kind of ran over the two guys to his day. left. Not only have they Don't you say Stu, though? Yeah, Stu's the only one. But then they also catch Stu's the, the only on one mid. we say Stu. Process of elimination leaves so I'd be like, Tim, Mikey. B, and they are Occasionally right shouty. So. I never say Henny Ska, though. Tarek's been tagged to 36. And Henny like, shouty, flash, flash. He's gonna have to try Stu, flash. Unearth at least one of these players before he pushes towards bomb. <clears throat> Anyone that has, like, a good short syllable. I'm never like, Audi, flash. That should have been Immortals' round. Automatic walks back down the stairs just as Henny turns around. 
to go into the site and uh, gets killed. So I think this is the, the flying position from Zach. Actually, some damage dealt. The instant 180 tear cleans him up, <laughs> no problem. And uh, yeah. I don't like that That's from like kill as well. It results in the round pretty much able to I guess so. Play, but he was probably doing play, that as Zach said he's behind him. And, and because it was influenced by the fact that they didn't want to upgrade. Hindsight's fucking 2020. They've got lots of money to, to re You never know, really. Um, the only difference is Zach has a, a Bombus, but that's about it. Could act like They're you do, on but... equal terms, and, and Henny has an off as well. Immortal, Zach isn't terrible. He just, he's out of, exactly. he's Three not seasoned. A is Immortals. Stewie's already been tagged up for half his health. Stewie's really good at taking B, but man, do you take a lot of damage. Off the flashbangs, clearing the corners, but I feel like... Short Immortals round, I want to see you in the shower. What kind of donation is it? Is it back from Banana after having lost it? Uh, sometimes you can catch people setting up. There's an, a situation right there. Stewie actually hoping for his peak, but wasn't in position in time, and he might have died anyway if he didn't have perfect crosshair placement. The short, short round. I really hate the fact that you put that quote at the end because I can't click on your stream profile link. I have to go type it in manually. You break my balls here, but thank you for the ten bucks. I can't complain. In both instances. Now we'll see if Tarek and Co can charge. Even though I just did. Playing trade frags as all three players are side by side, but they're starting to get boxed in here. Again, Immortals have four players near. This actually could be decent round if they kill Zach. Inside, but rather just holding sight. It's a peak from Lucas that costs them now. While damage is dealt to Rush, that's only a one-man advantage still in the hands of Immortals. Tarek's going to keep up the pressure, charging through the arch. As Zach plays with the side of the smoke, he then decides to mm, reel back. one B player. This opens up the B site, but Henny JK locks it Henny. down. God. Tarek as he rounds the corner, leaves Rush to trade the frag, but Henny's now got a 4K in this one. The ace on on the table as Skadoodle's coming in from CT spawn. It's a Ooh. beauty of a sniper round for Henny. Honestly, it was not even just like a, a 4K and ace. It was really smart kills every single time. Um, the way he fell back, every player came into his crosshair just as he expected him to. He's picking logs there. He's waiting for someone to come and trade. He gets that kill. He holds B down on the flank and that's just super easy stuff for him and you know it, flashy kills are great when you have to flick but this is a result of game sense when they're coming to you and it's beautiful that he's able to do that five kills in a row time your profile, brother. And it's not something you see every day from henny who's, who's extremely aggressive we saw seven frags in mid last night off of a grenade stack and steel's able to clean up two already here now finds a third frag versus rush so excellent anti-eco already and of course immortals with lucas and henny are not going to shy away from a push they know that Cloud9 are weak, they smell the blood in the water, and obviously Tarek's just grasping for straws, hoping he can find something here. But as he rounds that corner, bolts will drop him. It's only automatic with bomb. Huh? And while he tags a man with the clock, <laughs> ultimately Tim's taking always kill, getting that gay ass with another great success. Yeah. Fucking you know, nerd it's kills. A, it's a He's good at those. At this point. There's not a lot of money to buy. I'm not even sure they have enough on all players to justify doing it. Do you bind all your grenades? No, I probably should. I, I don't anticipated it. They might have tried to half buy on that previous round, but uh, nonetheless, there it is. They've it's got uh, half armor on three players, or full on rush, and uh, some nades. A lot of nades, actually. Maybe they set up something full. Uh, it looks like it potentially be off the, right off the jump. Ooh, nice one-two Molotov there. Not only stopping Stewie in his tracks, but then forcing him back and allowing for Henny to post up on an angle. Despite the shot going astray, he is still able to retreat to the site, so that's perfectly fine. They take an initiative, they tag up two players on Cloud9, and they haven't given a window of opportunity the for the T side to exploit. So they all creep up together, they've earned it for just about 100 HP. It's not too bad for a team that's basically saving and now have enough smokes to kind of come in with a full execute. Everybody in positions that they can get smoked out from, which is also interesting. Henny, when seeing upper. this, however, might rotate into a better spot. Here's gonna be pretty aggressive. Lucas is well pushing in. Nice two kills off of the off. Lucas finding one, swaps to the sidearm, taps, taps, taps away <laughs> as Zach will arrive and Immortals find seven already. So again, a very successful anti-eco. Nice buy from Cloud9, trying to employ strategy, trying to employ tactics but ultimately cut down as they run into those guns. Yep. Now we're into One the more thing I had to remember to do. What did I want to do, Cloud guys? Nine. Did I tell They're you guys? Try to bring this back Favorite hockey team? Deficit. Ducks, Kings, I don't know, so Cal As maybe expected on CT side, but at the same time, you should you can't be excused from having a poor T half on this new Inferno. Very wide open choke point. Frost Vanilla, we also played more tourneys, but yeah, executes I feel you, bro. Defaults. Individual plays way more uh, than we once had on, uh, on Classic Inferno. That was, that was a... 
kind of a nightmare uh, for the individual on T side. Nice frag. It's a value grenade. Yep. I can't move face cam because of this overlay. I'd have to watch. We see that happen like really like often. This. You know, wall bangs, shooting through smokes, throwing grenades where you think people are going to be. You don't see the effect of the damage while you're playing, and most people never watch all their demos. But if you look back at a lot of rounds, you'll see that this damage, this damage results in trades won for the team later in the round a lot of times. But look at this poor setup, uh, poor setup on A from Immortals. It's working way too well. Cloud9 are trying to work B as best they can, but Immortals are not biting on this and playing 2 or 3B anymore. They're reading them like a book. Of course, Bolt's in the pit. Such a strong position. It's going to throw another frag out. More damage done to both Tarek and Automatic. So now, before even seeing a target, both of those players are sitting under 50 HP. Especially Tarek, who's right a here? stiff breeze away from death. However, Rush has been left inside of the corner on mid, and he catches Zack as he tries to cross. It's Henny to get aggressive, and he gets his shot gone wide, gets punished for it, as Stu is now able to open up the B-bomb site, push towards Coffins, and secure the backside of the church, as the bomb should be able to find itself planted. Really nice entry. That straight out to make that shot hard for Kill Henny feed. was exactly as intended, I'm sure, for Stewie. But this second. Zach dying in Arch after knowing Rush is there too is a tough pill to swallow, and now there's only two players up on this retake. They pretty much just need to stay alive at this point. It's going to be hard to win this round. Stewie drops the smoke, but Lucas gives chase and sprays into his face as he tries to cower in the corner. Lucas continuing forward on the retake, but the fire's going to block this off. And of course, Bolts is still sitting inside of spawn. They both need to get towards site where Skadoodle holds the line, finding one frag and trade it back as this anchor on Banana will surely seal the deal. It's going to be Cloud9 with a third round of the board. Oh, I love that automatic. Doesn't even let him save there. Goes for the kill in a, in a, in a kind of a tough situation. If he died, it would have been weird, but you wouldn't expect someone to be sitting there waiting for that long when he, know, when he knows that he's might have got a little food so poisoning or something. Another round of the board could he's damage on that one as well. And, uh, as we can see by looking at these rounds, it's, it's been reset after reset. Oh, I don't have my. Critically important that uh, C9 I have to add my Twitch alerts here in second. They are still pretty broke, even after having that bomb plant. Standard stuff. Uh, the Molly's on banana. There's no Cloud9 players here. Last round we saw them work A to the point that it looked like they were actually going to commit to it, then fall back and win the round. I'll roll that at again. A. Immortals have been playing four there and getting away with it, and that was a good Go answer. Fuck. Good change up, but again, good grenade usage. Just softens up the targets as they come flooding forward. Bolt this is a really good strat. Boston Steel takes the next. Ska was able to find some opening that Automatic then doubles down on, but now they need to secure it with no, Steel. Oh, you needed to go for a kill. Corner. Steel kind of plays that, baby. By two players I love you, Steel. Steel's a great guy. They're I think he knows that he's getting wrapped. He should have just swing on somebody. As a he needs to get. He needs to try to get one kill there. Ooh, off shot. Goes wide, but through the wall, he finds damage done on Tarek. Tries to follow suit with another shot, but then he's going to reposition inside of Balk. Meanwhile, Missed a few donos? Okay. Trying to work in on Moto. Liam, substitute for you to come back and join a new roster. Who would you have on it? Why? I'm not going to answer that. It's out of respect. I don't know. Brax, if I was Dende. More damage done through smoke. Brax. Give me like a... Outside of my ex-teammates. I won't include my ex-teammates, I'll say. He's gonna catch Brax, maybe like, Kusta. As the bomb goes off, an automatic goes down with it. Yeah, looking for the kill. And just as you pointed out... Like a Sean, Gares, uh, I don't even know. Shazam, I don't know. Walk, I wanted to try playing with Kusta. He seemed like he was motivated. He, he seems to get a lot of bad breaks. As like an opper. Um, who else? Nath. He just joined Renegades, though. Out of free agents, I'd have to play with like AZK, Brax. Don't freak his on the double entry or what? I don't know. Me more. Could you sign my profile? Yep. Automatic sidesteps. Henny could take his head. Brazilian gives up on his angle and instead he awaits this bomb carry. It's going to be Tarek. No aggressive stance from Immortals down Banana this time around. We've seen a lot of utility usage. That 1-2 Molotov with a fragment flying deep allows for Henny to either go for the peak or just post up on an angle. But instead, they play passive, pushing players to the back of the site and just waiting for Cloud9 to arrive. It definitely does feel like a battle of titans. Good responses both ways. The Banana control has worked out. 
the late banana hits afterwards have worked out for Cloud9. It's a matter of reinventing them, reinventing yourself for the terrorists and for the for the CTs and figuring is. out what Cloud9 wants to do next. I think Cloud9 with that last round have also figured out that Immortals are spending a lot of people at Arch as opposed to lane and try to circumvent that by coming out halls. Ooh, no former one. teammates. I meant from like the C9 and we current rusher. But he goes a bit wide. Bolts tries to push out from apps, but all he had was that mag seven. So Zach instead has to trade onto Rush as Lucas holds the line, dropping Stewie off the front side of Banana. And that's now the bomb in the open. So great play. I'm not going to be in New York Balls X3. I'm just commentating remotely from the studio just for group play. See how now Henny's being pulled back towards middle in order to push down or at least look down that lane. And instead it leaves automatic to secure the bomb from alt. I'm talking about who's on my Zach recent team guys. Not only as in. Get a better position, not but, uh, Cloud9 as is, an org. I just meant like the last iteration. Also just found a spot where he can and be alive. Shroudy, and, uh, that's that's important. Tyler. Not blowing the man advantage whatsoever. Uh, knowing kind of where the terrorists are, what this UMT might want to get a bit. C9 risky, still it seems like getting comfortable with their defaults. T side defaults, especially I think Terex calling. So they're adjusting to new players, new caller, slow, new they're spots probably. Although T side. There's, there's going just little bit too wide. Yeah, he tries to go for that, that knife out. Shoulder Mostly the same structure. Skill in itself to be able Would to you play with Big Iron? I don't even know who that is. Zero has the best shoulder peaks. Like he's, he's super good at baiting out shots, and uh, it's tough. You, the keyboard movement, it's his own skill. <laughs> little hopes for the peak in mid, and the smoke covers steel just the moment's notice. Frag grenades going each way. No one taking substantial damage. Big iron is Of course, there's only those two rifles for Cloud9, so those guys need to stay alive. Since instead of lifting weights. I did see at the gym last time I Yeah, excellently done. Automatic takes the head of Zack. That opens up a push over on Arch. Bolts is going to get pinned inside the grave stairs, and Lucas is fully blind, so the T's are free to do as they please, which did not include Skadoodle being taken down. It's going to give the man advantage to Immortals and push Cloud9 into the CT spawn. Where do they go from here, though? That's the big question. They're not going to have Henny just kind of peering from the back of Church, and so they're allowed to play to their own devices. Lucas is a weak point here, very low, and uh, they can kind of come back. Even though he falls back to the site looking for damage, actually gets it on Stewie without taking any from himself. Uh, oh my gosh. Points of health. As Tarek at least pins him to the backside of the site, steals frag to Stewie, now forces his hand. Tarek and Rush, they've got to make a play. And with 30 seconds left, time expired last time round. That's a big kill. Steel removed to the side of the apps. Leaves Tarek to creep into the bomb site. Again, Lucas is sitting inside of that corner, but they still oh, need to worry about on. bolts. He's been constantly inside of pit, and now he peeks to find Tarek as Rush is toppled over. Lucas Whoa. jumps to the top of the box, finds the frag, the defuse to follow suit, and Immortals now one round away. Thanks, I appreciate it, young man, Will Akers, wow. Will Akers. The Immortals are doing such great, such great work in this chaos, and uh, the smokes look a little bit strange, but... The reason why I like Stewie IGLing over, like, myself, or... The funny part is about each of these um, they've been in CT. Like Tim or Tyler. Tyler actually might have been a good IGL. If Tyler had the the energy, Tyler would be a pretty decent IGL. Because I think what I think makes you a good IGL is someone who's decisive. And even if it's not the ga best game plan, being able to say a game plan and get your team behind that energy is big. Um, Tyler would be good at that because he's a pretty decisive dude. He's just not... He doesn't have the personality to match as much. Tim, Tim had a lot of good ideas, but Tim is a pretty pragmatic guy. So the problem is that is that... He needed to think a lot about his plans. And when he did, I mean, Tim is as smart as any CS player, right? In terms of, like, knowing how to, like, break down why something happened or whatever. But um, his calling was very, like, setup-based, um, kind of go through the steps. And, you know, it's not like he couldn't call a different style, but that, that was kind of energy he brought to the team. He was not didn't have too much prob problems being decisive, but it was just... Maybe a little too cut and dry. Whereas Stewie, even though he's decisive and kind of simple with his calling, Stewie as an IGL has kind of kind of enabled. He felt like more comfortable making plays, and then he would kind of call things based on the team he knew. Like, hey, on this map, for instance, I know they double op. Uh, you know, 
this is how they're going to set it up. Let's just scrim this one guy here, and their op's going to move, and then you'll go get a kill, Tyler or Tim, or whatever. And so Stu is pretty good at kind of like that, bringing that energy to the table outside of default, you know. For me as a strat caller, um, I just feel like being decisive was one of my main issues. You guys saw it when we used to play. Um, not that I didn't know what my I could have called. Like, anytime I watched something, my hindsight analysis was is obviously on point. I know why most things are happening. The problem with when, when I was calling while I was live, I was getting too ambitious because I would see these openings, but it was too tough for me like, to communicate and be decisive and like coordinate five people on the fly because I always like saw on the fly openings. That's even why sometimes as a lurker I'm not that good because on my last team, I didn't always get a lot of kills because the ways I used to get kills when I had freedom was because I would be playing within the confines of the strat. But then when I saw an opening, I'd make it and I'd get that one kill. And 1.6, that was like my specialty is people wouldn't necessarily be surprised with where I was coming from. It was more like a timing and hitting a nice shot. Who was IGL in Brazil? Stewie. But the thing is, is like I said, a lot of our strats weren't just Stu's creation. It was his calling and when to call them, right? Um, between Stu, myself, Tim, we all made strats. But you tailor them to the team you're playing. Stu knew everything SK was doing in Brazil, too. Stu had, like, spent so much time studying SK. So that's credit to him in Brazil. And then the other teams we played, we were just kind of, like, running over them at that tournament. What was it, like, Optic, Mouse Sports, Nip, Phase. We were just kind of outplaying them. Man to man. As immortals sit in the 2v2, they have an idea that maybe Stu is also behind the boxes. Now they know for sure. So they've got them both to the back of the site. They both got them both dead to rights. It's going to be Cloud9 only. Well, Shroudy just not in question to be an IGO? No, yeah. Not only is Shroudy not indecisive. Shroudy's not even decisive. It's not even that he's indecisive or decisive. Shroudy just wouldn't choose. I guess I'd be indecisive. He just wouldn't say anything. <laughs> he has idea in his head, but he probably wouldn't say anything. He would admit that. I love, you know I love Shroudy. Shroudy is, is very himself. That's what I've always loved about Mike. He, he might be a super chilled guy, but he's always himself, right? And he knows that wasn't him to call strats. Did you know every 60 seconds a minute passes in Africa? What was that half score? Was that 10-5? I didn't look up. Or was that 11-4? Owl TV, if I'm if I am see any SCA, do I have a chance to get matched against or on your team? I have no idea. It's 11-4? Okay. Owl TV, hey Jordan, I want to look up inventory. See if you want to trade any items. I don't really trade items. I don't have an interest normally. You have a cool inventory, though. I like your crimson web knife. I'm good, though, on trading. Keep your skins better. If you want to submit a trade to me, do it. Maybe I'll take a look and see if I like it. What's up, sweetie? Huh? Yeah. Uh, it's halftime. Actually, I'm going to... Do choose a favor really quick, guys. I'll be right back. Has anybody ever told you that you reminded him of Charlie Day? No, I get... I get uh, Tom Feldmore, a.k.a. Draco Malfoy. Sometimes my voice is Michael Sarah from Super Bad. people say. Things like that. I'll be right back. Do skins have an influence on your gameplay? Not that I think of.
every single time Immortals had up to three players left over at A to try to stop them. So, uh, bad read, I think, and they were just maybe a little bit too adamant about Crush on the site. It might be mad though, getting to the mirror. Well, it's close to an abysmal path, a lot of resets in there. And again, this is much more reminiscent to a scoreline you'd see on the old war. 11 rounds on the CT side. Yeah, this is like the standard. What up, baby? This is like the standard path. Of course. Good job, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of utility for Immortals to play off of. Single Molly, single Smoke, double Flashbang. What's up, guys? Of course, on the other side, we've got the kit double flashbang. Favorite band is probably Tool. Or Jedi Mind Tricks, Hip Hop, Rock. No, but they actually got Those two are, like, way probably way most influential a, if they in terms of peak, that style of underground hip hop and then alternative rock. Because, of course, I like a lot of other music. Like, when I was younger, CS Frag movies had, like, Disturbed, Breaking Benjamin... A tree you some 41 like random songs like that they're back and committed so henny charging into the box site clears tearing from the corner but there's still a man on stairs that's rush trying to lock it down until zach takes his head and automatic calls for james keenan maynard he gets gushed to james maynard keenan i don't know favorite movies i don't know shashank redemption where's your really cute dog she's taking a nap with truth she loves me, but truth's her real love. She naps with truth. Golden Crest, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it, brother. I'll pop it again. Tool is why I got to X Cray, yeah. Damn, Immortals exploded on that. Cloud9 is not all in no brain. They're actually smart. Like Rush and Tarek, I'd say play. I don't know Tarek and Rush thinking that extensively. Lee, I've never really competed on a team with them. I know Tarek has come a long ways since you know, Mouse Spaz days. Obviously, everyone used to call him Painter Brain. When you talk to him, he obviously has played under a structured organization, got good skill. So I think that's really rude to say. And then Rush is a very solid, well-rounded player, which, you know, the only the only thing that really I think is going to need time on this team is, one, strats, obviously, right? That's just inherently a time-related thing. And then, two, um, every team has key components, right? A.K.A. like star players or like the sharpest end of your sword, right? You need to figure out who's not the sharpest end of the sword on strats and how they can complement the sharpest end of the sword, right? So that's one thing they're going to have to figure out. No matter how good you are, whether you're Nico or Olaf Meister, if you're not the star player, you need to figure out how to support them. A lot of the top teams have developed new play styles like SK, where even though Cold Deer is the star player, the, pl the he's not set up necessarily. He does kind of have his baity style, and he has it on CT side, yes, he has very selfish plays. You call them selfish. They're plays to make... He has success rate is high with them and he does it for his own benefit or his own kills but on T side any of them could be a star generally that's kind of the new play style this team needs time it doesn't mean their things will be solved but they definitely need time to be judged cloud nine definitely needs time but it doesn't mean they'll reach their solution they just definitely need time right you can't judge a team without a proper sample size I haven't tried HyperX Cloud or Sennheiser headsets, really. Um, I've only used Logitech for the past couple years, so I can't give you feedback on that. Good couple kills right there. Finding rush on alt mid leaves only automatic. And while he has a hundred health, and there's no team, Tim's gonna get one no kill somehow. Very little chances. Yeah, I mean, maybe not. Race by, they had nothing to invest, they decided to run down mid, end up hitting a couple of headshots really fast and get those kills. But the, the kills in response to clean it up means that this, this is map one, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Immortals lost two Mac 10s, so they keep all the AKs they had coming into this round. Automatic won't have one to find, even if he does rummage around at mid, and uh, he's just gonna hope that they go the Worth saving is the three hundred dollars that you might be giving to one of the Immortals players. Let's 
the upside is if you do get a kill, you can maybe knock down 5k in equipment value, so why not try? Babe, are you gonna be more hungry in a little? Odds so heavily stacked against him. That one's an easy cleanup. The entirety of the round, really. But I mean, I know. love that. Just think about it. Approach here from Cloud9. You buy a couple of flashbangs. It's a minimal investment. Not even a P250 on, on anyone. And yet, you still net yourself two kills in the round. Let me know if you want to try later. Yeah, I could order you, you another one of those vegan pizzas and try to do it right this time. We can save it for another time too. And you could eat something easy on your tummy like oatmeal. The hall's pop is vicious. Oh, that's tough. That'll happen. Rush needs to get two right here. Big double fire. They could win the bomb and leaves immortals to come in on lane. Preemptive nades gonna do some damage. That's bolt sitting on fifty. Three peaks off the flash and rush takes it to the one versus three for Zach, who is able to clear the pit with a minute left to play. He is taking. He almost popped Stu right there because. Uh, Tim wasn't peeking. Yeah, a little one, and, and uh, we just see why, why it's so important to play. Chris Abbott. And, and how, uh, how I have a couple of vlogs that still need to upload me more, but I'm not. Uh, they didn't even have a bait there. The other player who died took the attention away from Rush, but uh, uh, there's so many positions. That not gonna be vlogging really obviously events. I'm not at. I'm not just gonna go. I might go. You, you aren't able to clear it until you jump out. So Truth is allergic to dairy, guys. So that's why I say vegan pizza. I'm never gonna. I don't think I'll ever be a caster at play-by-play. I'll -play. be a color commentary. It'd be something more along the lines of Immortals establishing a default here. Looks like they're going for a little bit of a mid prod. See how the CTs are playing. They get this kill at B, but no reason to overextend here. I think they're just gonna pressure Rap because they know the Rap guy has to move right now. They're holding to see if he moves. They're going to slowly work up Rap right now, probably, because they know B needs that support after that kill. See, they know the CTs have to play passive here, so once they get contact right here, it's going to explode. Tarek's going to have to get kills to save around here. He's not aware of the Rap, though. The comms must have been delayed to him. And that's the extent of my calling. I'm done. I can always explain why something happened. It's just like commentate. I'm not gonna be like, and I uh, have Rush here looking banana for another frag here. He's got his M4 out. Not much left in the round here. It's a two for four. He's gonna try to save for the tie. They're not having. <laughs> oh, currently four versus two. The round is over. Things are looking bleak here for C9. As they go into the last round, low by two people only saving guns here. Scores 15-5 on D Inferno. Map 1 of 2 tonight for the ASL Pro League. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Hope uh, you're all enjoying it. That's not me. I might throw a little in there, you know. Off the main play-by-play -play guy. Can you put your mic up or just above volume? Hey, guys. How's it going over here? Always executing with ample time to either change mind or finish it off quick. But it's Cloud9. We we'll have to put it all Short round donated two dollars, so one day you'll be showering and see like me peering through the window. Don't worry about it. I won't tell anyone I said what the heck. What do you say, sweetie? Big Tommy hates you. I'm sorry. Um, I'll fight your tummy for you. Bust a flow. Currently, Mortal's trying to default, but that smoker car's got him trying to halt. Stewie trying to get a frag, hiding in the smoke, but he got shot through the wall. Now it's a joke. He's falling back. The 4v5, he wants to stay alive. His team at A is about to die, so he wants to go cry because it's now a low number. Automatic could peak mid, that would be a blunder. Don't smoke left mid, now he's got to fall back. Molly the mid, so make sure his timing's on track. He's got to hold it a little, about a minute left in the round. But if he peaks now and dies, this shit will be in the ground. Dead, five feet deep, six feet under. Automatic's rotating like it's thunder. <laughs> I stopped. I didn't want to go that hard right now. Low on utility, low 
lock on and they need to make a play. So they have to stack something, boys. So while Zack is caught on the A site, the jig is up, unless Stu can hold the line. He is able to Gee -gee. find one frag, but Volts will trade it back, and he, with the bomb, plants behind the fountain. Of course, Henny's already posted up on this angle, hoping that Zack walks was... across. Automatic does still have the smoke if they want to block him out, but... I'm probably going to watch him out, too. As we have ourselves a 3v3, and the CT's push in. Nice Sian is dumb. Why wouldn't they add Nico and Kaldera? That's tough. With a that actually, on the some of those rounds are a bit closer than that scoreline entails. Like but, uh, shit. 